it behooves me why our host at MSNBC and many other stations have a tendency to really give Republicans a pass when it comes to uh, when it comes to talking about the stimulus, when it comes to talking about the negotiations, because the obstinate ones, the ones that care nothing about people, are generally the Republicans. I mean, just take a look at their bill. Their biggest concentration right now is the social uh, discount on the social security taxes, and two, also they want to uh, indemnify all cor corporations to ensure that if people get sick on the job and it's the fault of the corporation, the corporation pays absolutely nothing. Well, uh, Nancy Pelosi did a good job in this last MSNBC interview. I extracted a piece of it. Check, a, take a look at it, and we'll take it on the other side. We passed the HEROES Act 12 weeks ago today. Since that time, three and a half million people have been added to the list of those infected. 70,000 people have died since we passed our bill. The Republicans pushed the pause button. The president still ignores all the guidance from science. So we have to make a scientific decision to govern in a way that has the allocation of resources. We have to defeat the virus. If if we're going to open the economy and safely return our children to school. That's Will right. you be meeting with White House negotiators today, Speaker Pelosi? Oh, uh, we are calling upon them to meet today. We haven't gotten a response back from them, but I always put things in terms of the children. For the children, we must come to an agreement. Children and families are preparing for school, and we have major disagreement between us on the schooling in terms of the dollar amount, but also how the money would be spent. The president is insisting that most of the money that they are allocating will go to schools that are opening actually, when the evidence is that across the country, school districts are saying overwhelmingly that they will be opening virtually or in a hybrid fashion, some actually. That can't actually can't happen unless you reduce the infection rate in those communities. So that's one big stumbling block. The other is, honor our heroes is the purpose of our bill. Our health care providers, our first responders, our teachers, our teachers, our teachers, our sanitation, transportation, food workers, they're on the verge of being fired a million and a half already because we have not adequately compensated them for their outlay for the coronavirus and the rest. Speaker Pelosi, I understand that, and, and big picture, you did pass the HEROES Act 12 12 weeks ago, 12 uh, weeks that ago. is a package that's north of three trillion dollars. It is. Uh, Republicans that's where the are, are saying they want something that's more pared back. But where's the middle ground, and do you have a responsibility to find it? Well, the middle ground is not Sophie's choice. How many children will be fed? How we're going to deal with uh, evictions and how many people will delegate it to eviction and homelessness. This is a different kind of a negotiation. This isn't just about dollars. It's about values. And our bill was very precise in terms of meeting those needs. Now, we can come down in terms of the length of time. For our food, for example, in the food, we have $67 billion for food and utilities and water. They have $250,000. We've You've had hours up. of negotiation, Madam That's Speaker, right. and still no deal. Well, Did we you don't have overplay shared values. your hand and your leverage? No, we didn't. No, we haven't overplayed our hand. We're not overplaying our hand when we are factually presenting what the needs are for our families, for our teachers, for our schools, for ending the virus. Now, if they want to say we want to do it with less money, let's find out where we can do that without undermining the purpose. This is life and death. This is life, lives of the American people, livelihood in terms of their economic success, and life of our democracy, where we have very serious differences. This isn't about bickering. This is very major differences as to science, the role of governance in all of this. I think that some of the policies the Republicans have put forth have been very disdainful. The stock market's doing fine. They don't mind if the Fed is shoring up the stock market and the credit markets and that. And we said, let's shore up America's working families. Let's shore up Americans' working family. It drives me crazy when you have hosts uh, tell, make statements like, why don't you find the middle ground? The middle ground says... Let's allow a certain percentage to die who did not have to die. Let's allow a certain percentage to be evicted who didn't need to be evicted. That's not a middle ground. That is slaughter. And that's why Nancy Pelosi said specifically it's not 
about dollars solely. It's also about values. Do you value life or not? Do you value people or not? Do you value capital and corporations over people? In the Republican plans, that's what it's all about. The people are just slaves to the labor force. You go to work if you get sick. We don't want to give you health care either, so you're on your own. If you get sick and you decide that or you know that your company is the one that caused you to get sick. Oh, but you can't sue us either. So we have to start putting the argument, the discussion, the discourse where it belongs. We have evil policies and we have policies that care about people. We cannot allow them to change the argument. We cannot talk about overplaying your hands. This isn't a game. This, as, she, as Nancy Pelosi squarely said, it's life or death. Life or death, economic success or economic failure. Let's get the right dialogue going and we cannot allow hosts who are trying or attempting to be fair and balanced, but being balanced mean, well, instead of killing half the people or instead of killing some of the people, we'll kill most of the people. Let's get this thing right. As Nancy Pelosi said, it's not solely about dollars, it's also about values. I'm Egberto Woolies, host of Politics Done Right, an independent news program. I post several news videos of interest every day. I ask you so kindly to subscribe to my channel and please leave me some comments. Thank you very much.